I do my best work with a cup. What is going on guys? My name is Griffin, but you can call me Griff. Welcome back to another Apex Legends video. Today we're going to be recapping Apex Legends Season 10 Emergence. We had Seer, a brand new gun, map changes, and a plethora of other things, so let's just hop right in. Warzone players love Seer because he has a built-in heartbeat sensor. How great is that? As for Seer's tactical, it was probably the most busted ability on launch we've ever seen. Alright, let me just check my notes here. Alright, here we go. Seer's tactical on launch did 10 damage, it flashbanged you, it disrupt heals, it disrupt abilities, it reveals shields and health, it tracks enemies for 8 seconds, and it also stuns you on top of all of that. Go out and bamboozle him. Oh yeah, I haven't even mentioned his ultimate yet. He literally throws down some heart thing in his chest and it just tracks the legend's movement throughout it. So yeah, he's was he's very strong. As for Seer's lore, it's mostly pretty boring and kind of unexplained. Seer was born with a curse, a curse so bad that an asteroid hit his home planet's moon, but since his parents loved him and raised him with care, he overcame the curse and then started fighting in these things called arenas, but not the Apex arenas, like I guess one-on-one -on -one fights, and then he just magically joins the Apex games. Like that's pretty much what they make it out to be. Like I, th that's it. I'm not even kidding. Also, apparently, loves a good game of pinball. I believe in art and pinball. I love pinball. Now let's head into some of the map changes for Season 10 of Apex Legends on World's Edge. All the map changes for Season 10 are all due to the Harvester. The Harvester was mining too many resources and it caused all kinds of problems for World's Edge. That giant lava fissure that runs through Fragment East and West reached all the way to a refinery and was replaced by Climatizer. The old sorting factory got swallowed by a sinkhole and got replaced by Lava Siphon. Also, a landslide hit Train Yard and got rid of it, which was like awesome, but then they replaced it with an even worse POI, so I'm not even going to talk about it. Half the lobby also still lands fragments, so it's like these map changes never even happened. And not to mention, but Bloodhound is like kinda pissed that Hammond's like destroying his planet. Valkyrie and Horizon received the gold skins in the Battle Pass this season, and the Volt was our tier 100 and 110 Battle Pass reactive skin, which honestly was kinda creepy. How could you forget the Rampage LMG? The Rampage LMG was added in the Season 10 update of Apex Legends. You add a thermite to this bad boy and this thing shoots faster than a wraith can rage quit a game. Ranked Arenas was also added this season and the alternator with disruptor rounds and the Spitfire were added to the care package weapon rotation. Horizon, Caustic, and Fuse all received buffs this patch. Revenant also got a nerf. Look how far away you can see his totem being activated from now. Elstar also received a buff, and now it is one of the best weapons in the game, still to this day. It took about three weeks for Seer to be nerfed, and just look at everything they did to this guy, and he still is a very good legend. Like, he was busted off the rip. Our first of only two events in Apex Legends Season 10 was the Evolution Collection event, with brand new cosmetics, a Rampart Heirloom and Rampart Town Takeover, as well as a really fun Rampart buff. Take a look at this. Yeah, Rampart received a pretty big buff this patch, and she also got her own town takeover like I said. Her town takeover is actually pretty cool because you could actually purchase certain gold, purple, and blue weapons with uh, crafting metals, so it added a whole other element of uh, getting weapons in the game, which is really cool. This update did come with some huge server issues that plagued the community and the game for about a week. There was massive outrage from a lot of people in the community, and people were clamoring for some sort of compensation. We did get a patch on the 22nd of September, as well as an extended rank split for all the server issues that it caused. Our second and final event of Apex Legends Season 10 was the Monsters Within Halloween event. It was a pretty small event with some legendary skins for a few legends, surprise trackers for Loba and other legends, as well as Shadow Royale Return. That's all this event really was. It was a little bit underwhelming. But that was Apex Legends Season 10 Emergence. I think Apex Legends Season 10 was incredibly underwhelming in my opinion. There is a lack of content in this season for some reason. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but we only got two collection events. The limited time mode that we got was a rehash of the Shadow Royale event we've had the past two, three years already. The first week of that collection event was laggy and buggy and we couldn't even play the game. And the worst part about that is people were making the switch from Warzone to Apex. This could have been a huge opportunity for Apex and the worst thing that could have happened happened for them. I feel so bad for Respawn. 
on. I don't want to go in on Apex too much because I generally like I like Apex. I like the season. I just feel like everything that was added this season, other than maybe the Rampage, was incredibly underwhelming. I don't know what it is about this season that felt that for me, but I just didn't find things that engaging. I love Apex at its core, and that's what keeps me playing the game for the most part, but the new things that were added just didn't do it for me. Seer was even busted at launch, and I was just like, eh. It just feels like when I compare it to other seasons in the past, this one just does not hit as hard as the others did. Maybe a hot take, but I enjoyed season 8 more than this one, to be honest. I think they did make some meaningful changes to care to Rampart especially that wasn't being played a lot. I think that's important for health of the game to give older legend buffs and changes. Seer as a character, I don't know what it is, but he just seems very forgettable to me. I can't put my finger on it, but I just, if he got removed from the game, I don't think I'd notice. This was a tough season for Apex and Respawn, so I'm not going to go in on them anymore. I just think personally when I compare this season to other things and other seasons in the past, it just doesn't stack up for me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. We'll be streaming the new season tomorrow on YouTube. Good evening, good morning, good night, whenever you're watching. Thank you so much. My name's Griff, and I'm out.